EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the Fed. Hello again and welcome. Rich Lerner alongside my friend and colleague Frank Navala. We are back in the state of Pennsylvania getting set to kick off the round here at one of the great golf courses in the world, Oakmont Country Club. Frank, you're very familiar with it because you were right in the mix down the stretch at the 1994 U.S. Open right here at Oakmont. In Oakmont, it's been a host to so many prestigious tournaments and our sports such as the U.S. Amateur, the U.S. Open, the Women's U.S. Open and the PGA Championship. It's just one of the true gems on the golf landscape. And now we go down to the first hole. Stepping up to the first tee, Frank, what are some keys to be thinking about at this point? Really got to pick a decent target, uh, really focus in on that, not really worry about left and right. Nice, good, full swing, slow if anything off the first tee. That is tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated offline. Shouldn't be a problem here. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. He has this for par. Wow, I thought it was going in just off the mark by a fraction. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Pittsburgh Invitational. When he goes after it like he is here... Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. Frank, I know you like boxing. That was some heavyweight power right there. Smoked it. Frank, what do you see here on this approach shot at number one? 
there's a little bit of doubt because of the semi-blindness down the hill. If you can just pick up on the top of the flag stick, uh, what really has to be taken into consideration is that little run-in area towards the front of the green. It goes down towards the green, and just before it gets it, it goes up again. So that means if you play your second shot a little too far short, chances are it will not all tends to slope towards the back of the green. It's a tough second shot to get right. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Now sitting at two under par. Settles in always with excellent posture over the ball. John Daly, take a back seat, big fella. How about that drive? Is it stopped yet? It's still going. <laughs> Well, they claim it's a reachable par four. We haven't seen a whole lot of people do it today. We just saw it right there. Well done.
Did a nice job with that putt. Good read, good speed. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Well, he knew it right from the start. Just a poor putt. Frank, a solid par right there, maintains his position. Third hole is a par four. Again, it's 428 yards, but Frank, we look out to the left and we can see there's nothing quite like the third at Oakmont. Well, the church pews certainly might look beautiful from our point of view, but they really shrink the hole down or the landing area because not only the pews on the left side, but uh, the bunch of bunkers on the right. You see the tee shot plays a little downhill, but it funnels in so closely together that uh, more often than not, we'll see players hit long irons off the tee here. Well, he pays a price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. You need a bit of force to extract one out of there. Frank, you've been there. How important is it to hit fairways early in the round? It just takes the pressure off the rest of the game, Rich. I mean, not only are you reducing the length of the hole by getting the ball in play and, you know, a good distance off the tee, but you're simplifying the next shot. Get down! Lay down! Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Wow. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Getting set now over the putt. Wow, I thought he made that. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. Let one go. You gotta really knuckle down there and make sure. Frank, you've been there. Good spot to be. Yeah, second place, just on it on the heels. Moving forward, game looks in good shape. And now let's go down to the action at the fourth. Frank, when you get out of the gates, as our featured golfer has done, with a lot of pars, steady play, what's the mindset? You've got to keep doing that, that Rich. Just maybe get a little closer to the hole, drive a little bit better, um, work on the, you know, on the pace of the putting. Just little gains, and then all of a sudden, you know, there's a big difference in the scorecard. Great Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf's the next one. Judging by that light, it's not gonna be too hard. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Frank, there's a real art to putting a good score on the board, isn't there? Yeah, that's why stroke play is so tough, Rich. Uh, you know, you're trying to minimize everything on a golf course, turn a six into a five or a four into a three. It's like even off the edge of a green, trying to get up and down in two rather than three. And you've got to do it for 18 straight holes. Straight, straight holes. If it's a 72-hole tournament, then you've got to do it for four straight days. And that's why that's always been the best predictor of, of, of our best players, the ones that can go four days and make the least number of mistakes. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. A makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under par. Sneaks that in. We're now tied.
take you up now to the fifth hole. 382 yard par four. Frank, what do you think of the fifth? An excellent tee shot um, is required here with just a just a long iron. Um, you know, even something as short as a four iron is fine because the hole's not overly long. If you can bisect the bunkers on both sides, that's the key there. Second shot's going to be a little downhill. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now we'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Pretty good shot right there. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Boy, that hurts right there, Frank. Yeah, he's got a knuckle down now, though, because, you know, we've seen it before, Rich. You know, two putts turn into three, four. So make sure you can limit the damage here. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's the opening round of the Pittsburgh Invitational. So the action is underway, and we'll take you out now to our featured golfer here at number one. Frank, were you the kind of player who actually might have been worried if you didn't have first tee jitters? Definitely. You didn't have the energy if that was the case. But uh, it's about turning that energy into some sort of positive form. Make nice full swings. Pick some good targets. And, of course, you never know what's going to happen. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. That's an absolute beauty. Settling in now for the second shot here at this opening hole. Rich, these winds haven't subsided at all today. It's certainly a tough test out there right now for these players. They get your attention, don't they, as a player? They have uh, club selection right now, vital. You put the ball back in your stance just a little bit? If you're going to hit it down.
This is a pretty long putt here. You'd be happy to get this to within two or three feet. You really want to take the stress out of that next putt. Pretty good stroke right there, just hit it through the break. It's a sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Holding steady now at two under par. Relatively short par four, second hole. Frank, what's the right play off the tee here? It's probably not driver. It certainly isn't. Um, you need a decent yardage in for your second shot, so you don't really want to hit it past those last of the six bunkers on that right side. Uh, it's, you know, it leaves a shot of 100, 110 yards. There's another tee box that's gone for a little extra. Just pulverize that golf ball. We moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. So in the first cut here, it could be worse. <laughs> Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But it's still not done. And a good third shot. Maybe get away here with Park. Third shot. Looking for a good one. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost, like, took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Frank, anything you do differently from the rough in terms of your swing? you hinge the club a little bit more quickly? No, normally put the ball just a little bit further back in your stance because you want the club to be going down. Down, it's got to go down through the grass, through the ball. Frank, that was a pretty tough lie out of the rough there. Yeah, it made that actually a little easier uh, than, than what it really is. It would have been too easy to uh, try and bite off more than you can chew. So I got to give him a pat on the back for that. Back in the fairway. Either misjudged the win or simply just pulled the wrong club, Frank. Going to take some skill now. EA Sports and the PGA Tour.
proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Pittsburgh Invitational. Grab the fire extinguisher. Put out the, that bolt is on fire. It's melting going through the air. Well, that was a beautiful drive, Frank. Really good position to take advantage. No, uh, sitting up beautifully in the fairway. a little too much club right there. <laughs> you think? I mean, that never even sniffed hitting the green. And setting up here in the rough. Twenty one feet from pay dirt. This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Frank, through the years, there have been some great winners at the Open Championship played at Royal Troon. In Greg Norman, um, there was also Todd Hamilton when he beat Ernie Els in the four-hole playoff. And back in 1996, Justin Leonard was to win his Open Championship. Tom Watson also won an Open Championship here. Tom Weisskopf, his only major, that was 1973. The great Arnold Palmer, Bobby Locke, they all won at Royal Troon.
That is a green in regulation as the approach shot hits the first green. But he is by no means in for par yet. A lengthy putt coming up. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Always two components to the long lag putt, the speed, number one, and then the read. And missed out on that second part. Frank, he might like this one. He might like it. Wow, I can't believe he found the cup on that one. Clean up on all five. Some snap though. Just a couple of feet. And so just getting started, even par so far. Frank, they call this second hole Black Rock. They also call it the most heavily bunker hole on the entire course. What do you have to do to stay away from them? Well, it, it plays in the same direction as the first hole. So the breeze, the prevailing breeze normally off the right. Um, some bunkers in play either side. Really just let the ball go to ground, let it run out. There's 11 bunkers in total on the second hole. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. 
Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. Pretty long putt right here. You'd be happy to get it to within two, three feet. Could it be? Normally you'd be happy to take two from there. What's one going to feel like? Right, Pop. Been pretty good all day from this distance. Just trying to take care of business. One under early in the round. Frank, looking at the third, what are the sort of key decisions that you have to make? There's two bunkers down the left. They're not really the issue. They're the burn. That's about 285 yards. This is not a hole, really. You just take the driver out and swing away. Uh, just something that stays up short of that. It's just going to leave you a short iron in. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Well, it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. Frank, this ball's in the rough. You like to hinge just a little bit quicker on the takeaway when the ball is down like this? No, when it's down, you've just got to make sure that you wind up almost like you're hitting a tee shot. Uh, this is not one to be dallied with. Uh, you've got to hit it powerfully, and you really have to focus on that club getting through the grass, past the ball, and out the other side. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Ooh, what a shot right there. A minus two early in the round. Turner back with you at Royal Troon. Frank, first par five of the round. What's ahead? A well, best opportunity for a birdie here is to take it over the bunker on the right. 
If you do that, you're going to get a little added roll. You can go in here even with perhaps a mid-on or a long-on. Excellent looking shot here. They'll be happy with that in the fairway. Now a good chance to attack this hole. This is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Frank Ball is in the rough here. What are the problems on this next shot? Well, this is really where the skill level comes in. Uh, a good part, this is where you, the, the good player separates himself from the rest. Frank, how good was that just to get it on the green? Well, from that shot there, you would have thought for sure that there was no chance he had of finding the green. That was some shot. Well, with a good shot here, Rich, I tell you, this eagle on the cards, hole very reachable from where he is. Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage. I want to check the GPS on a putt this long. Looks like he just misread that. 15 feet away. Wow, I thought he made that. I don't know, maybe lifted right there, just sort of peaked. Locked in on the read and the speed. So Frank, what do you think of the start so far? Rock solid. Um, very impressed. And with that, he'll go to three under. Now the first par three here at Royal Troon. It's the fifth hole. A little bit more than 200 yards. What's the challenge here, Frank? A lot depends on the breeze. Uh, plus, you remember, you've got to allow for the roll and the bounce here. So anything pitching on the front of the green, let that ball release or kick towards the middle and back of the screen.
He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Safely on deck. This is a cross country special. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knock it in for a par and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but it is going to hurt the cause. Well, that hurts. Thought he had it. Could really use this one. It's for birdie. That puts them at four under for the round. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. What a good hole. They call it the slopes. And the rough off the right-hand side of the green, really some of the most punishing on the entire course. Yeah, and the one thing you don't want to do is actually leave it up there on that high side because it means that you'll be chipping downhill. And right out of the center of the back. Did you hear that? Happiness is a long, 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 long walk after that one. That is a monster hit right there. He carried that more than 350 yards. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. That is just an outstanding shot right there. And now a chance for an eagle. This could be a huge momentum swing here, Frank. Yeah, one more good swing, and he's going to have an eagle putt coming up. I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but it is well on the cards. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Good work right there. Now to six under. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Unstoppable right now. That's an eagle. Ball's teed up. Ready to fly here at the seven. Yeah, it's a slight elevated tee, so you see all the problems in front of you. Couple of bunkers down the left, two down the right, but it's Lynx Golf, so you know where you gotta go. That's in between them. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look.
This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his move today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Ten foot putt left. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Seven under par now. Frank, here we are. All of 123 yards. It's a famous postage stamp hole. It sits up there nice and proud. It's protected by five bunkers, but avoid the ones on the right. They're the deepest all the way down on that right side. My goodness, Frank, I think that baby went in. 105 yards out. Frank, I'm thinking back to 1989 in the Open Championship. That was sort of our first chance to see the new playoff format at the Open. That's right, Rich. In 1985, they decided to have a four-hole playoff. Um, and that had been changed, too. In 1964, they went from a 36-hole playoff to an 18-hole playoff. And the reason why, my fellow country, countrymen, Bob Charles won in a 36-hole playoff in 1963. They realized 36 was too, too much. I think four holes right now is just perfect. Great effort right there, and a great chance to knock in that short putt. Settles in over the putt. Makes birdie, continuing to amaze on the greens, Frank. Putted well all day, Rich. Uh, had a couple of good holes early on and just, I think, found the groove. He's taken it to another level. Frank, this one's not looking good. Yeah, it's certainly not down the fairway line, hitting toward the rough. We moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. Oh, he's whining. 
this one up. Does he have the power, though? Look at this. Look at all the power in that coil. I mean, this is not heading in the right direction. Man, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Wow, Frank, I mean, he put the thumb down on that one. And kept it going, too. To mash that down like that, that's the air time, the hang time he got out. A sensational shot right there. Second from an excellent line. Yes, he's hold it, Frank. Unbelievable. From that distance. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but, Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. a big green and they're going to use every inch of it i mean that is a sight to behold what a spectacular shot we just saw on the par four with a drive in one Into the tall cabbage, that ball is swallowed up. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Frank, this game will drive you crazy. Yeah, you can do all so many things right, and then just something so simple, completely wrong. Mark a birdie on the car. I mean, almost hard to believe. 13 under already. Frank, you come to an open championship, and you expect to hear the term gorse. You see it here on the 11th hole. If you do end up in the gorse, what can you possibly do to get out? <laughs> well, anything you can. A lot of the times, it's, a, it's an unplayable lie. But if you remember back 2004, Ernie Els tried to play a ball when it was suspended about three feet off the ground and managed to flick it out of the sort of the, uh, the thorny gorse.
Oh, what a shot. Setting up for an eagle here. Smokes it. That's an absolute beauty. These putts keep the round together. Continues to roll it very well all day long. It's a big putt right here for Bodie. No problems there. And it keeps the round going, keeps the momentum on his side. Back here on the bonny shores of Scotland at Royal Troon Golf Club with just a wee breeze, as they say over here, Frank. On the tee at the 12th. The yeah, hole that bends to the right, uh, gorse right and left. There's a bit of a mound and rough down the right side. That has to be avoided. Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. <laughs> Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. This is a cross-country special. That's all he wanted to do there. Yeah, it's touch. And when you think from that distance, chances of making are, uh, are almost none. So to guarantee a two putt, well done. Fairly long, 25 foot putt here. Good-looking putt right here. This one has a chance, and he has it. Beautiful putt. And getting ready for the putt. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, break down the par 4 13 for us. Another par 4 that bends to the right. Uh, lots of undulation on this fairway. This is the first of six straight holes that head in the direction of the clubhouse.
He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. What a display of power and precision off the tee. On the green here on the par four, in one. Is an awkward length. Oh, how did that mess? Are you kidding me? I mean, that one was dead center. Now a seven footer. Frank, he had to make a run at that one. Oh, yeah, good effort. Uh, let's see if he can make birdie, but um, Oda put an eagle on the scorecard, what that would have meant to him. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, a little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important that this one goes in. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car. You love to watch him disappear, don't you? Heading for home now, Frank, the par 3, 14. Just under 180 yards. What's the key here? Well, it's rather narrow at the front there. There's three bunkers, but it's the second two that you really worry about that narrow the front of this green up. Plus, the front is slightly raised, so ideally you want it to fly more towards the middle where it starts to widen up. terrible but not his best An outside chance really for uh, for birdie but um, really it was a, a rather poor approach shot Should be safely on deck This is a pretty long putt here. You'd be happy to get this to within two or three feet. You really want to take the stress out of that next.
That's a head scratcher, no other way to put it. That close to the green and misses it badly to the right. No putter, no problem. Slams that into the cup. So a tester from four feet. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Frank now at the 15th, and how hard is this par four? The key really is to get the ball on the fairway here. Avoid those three bunkers, because this is one of the flattest greens on the golf course. Get the ball on the green here. Any putt's makeable. That appeared to be a good strike right there, Frank. No, oh, good. It's just towering. Look at that hanging in the sky. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. He's loading up on it. Look at the coil there. Just amazing what they're able to do with that golf swing. Hit it so far at that size. Not overly big, but man, can really move it a long way. Oh, come on, that's not even human. That's ridiculous. That is 350 plus yards. Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. set now over the putt. But he has it for birdie. Has this putt for birdie. Continuing to putt with confidence. The back nine here at Royal Troon has only one par five. And here it is, Frank. At 542 yards, you'd think it's reachable, but that burn cuts in at 280 yards, so it means you have to lay back. But I remember back in 1997, playing alongside Tiger Woods, and he still managed to get it onto the green from behind the burn. That was some shot. You knew at that point he was something special. He certainly was. He then knocked it in from 40 feet for an eagle three. Sweet. Straight down the middle.
That is burning through the atmosphere. Look at that thing. It's got a tail on it. Yeah, that's like a rocket ship. That one was launched by NASA. Second shot. Good look at the green. This one just starts right of the flag. Crucial eagle attempt on the way. Frankie could make eagle right here with a really good approach shot. Yeah, well, well within his reach, too. And, Rich, if we just uh, sit back and relax here, I think we're going to see perhaps a very good look at eagle coming up. Seems to like it. Headed for the green. Computer dials this one up at 26 feet. Well, you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. It is in for an eagle. And this part, with a birdie. Good part. Frank, now to the hole they call Rabbit, 222 yard par three. I don't know why it's called rabbit, because this is certainly some tough par three. Green sits up a little bit. There's a big roll-off on the left side, well bunkered. This takes a brilliant long iron shot just to keep it on the green. Pretty happy with that one, about 20 feet away in a good spot. Frank, is this one going to be okay? Yeah, just a little right. Seemed like good contact. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Work. 
kind of a tricky read. Shouldn't be a problem here. thought he made that. That's just a poor putt right there. No other way to say it. And a drop shot, a bogey at 17. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Trying to limit the damage here. This putt is for bogey. Bit unfortunate. Loses a shot here with that bogey. Frank, how does this 18th hole here at Royal Troon stack up against some of the other finishing holes in major championship golf? Rich, it's a stout par four, uh, 464 yards. So it's sort of in the ilk of a Muirfield or Royal St. George's finishing hole. And they've had some great um, 18th holes and open championships. Uh, this is actually called Craig End. Um, it's the name of the old farm that was demolished at the turn of the century. So the 18th hole, uh, it's certainly grown up and it's uh, flourished to more than a farm. bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Rub the shamrock. Got away with getting in the bunker there. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost, like, took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Can't hide the flagstick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated offline. And on the read and the speed. Literally no error in that putting strike. Good putt. Count that. That's a birdie. Frank, that was just a dazzling display of golf today. It's amazing how a game at times it can be so hard and just absolutely drive you crazy can appear to be so simple. This was just an absolute joy to watch today. So that'll do it for Frank Novello and our entire team. I'm Rich Lerner. Until next time.
This is EA Sports. EGA Tour coverage coming up next. Located in Troon, Scotland, founded in 1878, Royal Troon Golf Club playing host to the Open Championship eight times and is slated to host its ninth major championship in 2016. I'm Rich Lerner for EA Sports. Alongside me today, my friend and colleague, Frank Nabolo. Frank, you've played in the Open Championship on a couple of occasions here at Royal Troon. It's a golf course that features some breathtaking scenery, and it can also serve up some breathtaking golf. True Lynx Golf Course, uh, Rich. Relatively soft start can uh, certainly lull you into that false sense of security. And then the golf course really starts to open up. That homeward nine, often coming back into a prevailing breeze, is very much a stern test. this one up. Does he have the power though? Wow, what impact. 
absolutely crushed it. Oh my goodness, that is on in one. Wow, what an incredible shot. in the direction of the sand. It looks like it. Not the best shot, this one in the rough, but still we'll have a play from there. He'll need to be strong with this. From the rough, he manages to not only make the green, but get within easy striking distance of the hole. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Has to feel good at three under par in the early going. Now at the third hole here at Royal Troon, and Frank, another sort of short par for just 379 yards. Yeah, Simplicity is the key here, Rich. You don't really want to hit the ball more than 280 yards. Reason why is there's a burn there. And then from there, still only a wedge into a green that has two tiers. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Making it look easy at this point, another 
beautiful approach shot. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Trying to move in the right direction. Five under after that made punt. It's Turner back with you at Will True. Frank, first part five of the round. What's ahead? A best opportunity for a birdie here is to take it over the bunker on the right. If you do that, you're going to get a little added roll. And go in here even with perhaps a mid iron or a long iron. Offline, and, and I think that one's headed for the rough. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Sensational shot, and he won't want that.
on fire right now. Seven under par. At the par three fifth, ready to get this hole started. Prevailing breeze once again should be coming from the water, which is on the right. Uh, that makes that tee shot a little bit uh, more difficult because it pushes the ball to those three bunkers on the left side. Well, they're all Frank doesn't look too bad. Just maybe a little right of the flag. Regarded as a very accurate player, that shot says it all. <clears throat> you don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. to put up some really impressive numbers. How about eight under par with yet another birdie? Moving on to hole number six here at Royal Troon. Frank, what are the golfers facing at this long par five? Well, you've got to attack this hole in chunks, Rich. Um, just allow the, the mounding on the right to kick the ball forward, then try and uh, position that second shot. Keep well away from that pot bunker that's a little bit short, about 30 yards right. I'm sure that is the one that causes the problem. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Split the fairway with that. Just a gorgeous swing. Frank getting set for this approach shot. Our featured golfer is a player. It's obvious in full flight right now. It is. This is where it doesn't matter what the sport is, and, and golf is a great example for it, though, where... When you play your best, it's almost like you're just playing out of your subconscious. Everything happens, it just flows, and you don't really think about it. Good looking shot right here. Two short eagle attempt on the way. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Oh yes, that's an eagle. Frank, we're moving inland now, and what are we facing here at this par 4 7 hole? Just a dog leg to the right, uh, ideally just a little cut off the tee. Smokes it. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. in regulation. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Well, the great hits just keep coming. Moves to minus 11 on the day. Frank, here we are. All of 123 yards. It's a famous postage stamp hole. It sits up there nice and proud. It's protected by five bunkers, but avoid the ones on the right. They're the deepest all the way down on that right side.
can't hide the flag stick from that man. Just five feet left. Well, how about that? That's a fourth birdie on the day. Frank, the ninth hole, 423 yards, not especially long by today's standard. You're looking to make birdie here, or you're happy to make a par and move on to the back nine? Well, there's certainly a chance for birdie. One of the hardest things about the ninth is the raised green. Um, and it's sort of, there's two tiers here, just the top level. If that pin is on the top, t top level, then you would certainly walk away with four very happily. Oh, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Long drive, but a bad lie. Uh, wicked. Frank, out of the rough, best to swing a little bit easier or get after it with all you have. Well, a little bit in between. Obviously, it's going to require a little bit of strength to make sure that club keeps going through, but it's still the planning of the shot. Once again, check short. Do, is there anything I have to carry? And even remember, there's always the option of just simply pitching the ball down the fairway and taking your medicine. I mean, this skill. And that, that was sublime. Just good hands, coming out of the rough, able to manage the distance, and now in great position. Frank, two is nice, but... Three is even better. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, 10th hole, what's the best way to go at it? Well, it's a blind tee shot, so you've got to take it over those sand hills, but then you've got to hit the ball at least 260, 270 in the air. And then there is a run out as well, over 300 yards down there. You don't want to go too far off the tee. I mean, that is a sight to behold. What a spectacular shot we just saw on the par four with a drive in one. Settles in over the putt. Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Shouldn't be a problem here. Continues to amaze yet amaze how difficult this 11th hole is. None other than Jack Nicklaus had his problems here. Yeah, he turned pro in 1962. He just won the US Open at Oakmont, and then he came to Troon, and on the 11th hole, he made a 10. That's right, double digits.
if this could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. Frank, right where you want to be. Oh, wouldn't be better if it was on a tee. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. Rich, I'm starting to lose count. This is just birdie after birdie. It's all time stuff. I mean, this is territory we just don't visit very often. Never quite had enough oomph on that. Yeah, sort of uh, a wishy-washy stroke. Clean this up with a tap. Did the job right there. Frank, how do you size up the 12th hole here at Royal Troon? Well, first look at 430 yards, you'd think it'd be a rather easy par four, but that's not really the issue. The issue is gorse right and left. And this is not heading in the right direction. No, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. That one is just a little offline, and that will not end up in the fairway. Second shot coming out of the rough here.
Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Locked in on the read and the speed. Score that, a birdie. Frank beginning to head towards home. This is the 13th of par four. Another dog leg right. Uh, problem isn't really the tee shot here, even though there's undulations and mounds all over the fairway. Second shot's played uphill to an elevated green. Frank, you're in the business of analyzing golf shots. I don't want to see that one again. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. This is a 16-footer. <laughs> that had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his middle. For par. Headed to rarefied territory already. 15 under par for the round. Heading for home now, Frank, the par 3, 14. Just under 180 yards. What's the key here? Well, it's rather narrow at the front there. There's three bunkers, but it's the second two that you really worry about that narrow the front of the screen up. Plus, the front is slightly raised, so ideally you want it to fly it more towards the middle where it starts to widen up. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. He'll take par and move on. Now at the 15th at Royal Troon Golf Club, 483 yard par four. This, Frank, is one of the hardest holes in the course. It's certainly a stout par four at that distance. Um, if you're playing into a head breeze, then 260 yards is certainly going to be a big tee shot. But 260 yards takes all the bunkers out of play. 
he goes after it like he is here. Just pulverized that golf ball. Well, this one is, is offline just a bit. Look out. You know, that one is going to end up in the rough. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Well, it was a tricky one, but it's in. Now the lone par five on the back nine, the 16th in. While you might be thinking birdie here, you may want to think again. What are the options off the tee, Frank? Well, really, there's only one option, and that's keep it short of that burn, which is 280 yards. So that makes that 540 yards play that much longer. Looks to be putting everything into this one. Just destroyed it. Frank, it makes the game easy when you play it from the fairway. Especially when you play it from a lie like that. Well, with a good shot here, Rich. But, uh, this eagle on the cards. Hole very reachable from where he is. Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage. <laughs> you can't hide the flagstick from that one. He is just uh, unbelievable, that, that never deviated offline. Doing what needs to be done, you need to make him from that distance. 17th here at Royal True. This is a very strong par three, isn't it, Frank? Well, if, rabbit have, if rabbits have teeth, then this is why it's called rabbit. Very, very strong par three. Try up next. This is for his birdie. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, now the final hole, steeped in so much history. When you think about the legends of the game who have walked off this tee on their way to the Claret Jug, guys like Tom Watson, Arnold Palmer, Bobby Locke. If you've got a one-shot lead standing on this tee, somehow you have to avoid those four bunkers. Three down the left, one down the right, but a strip of fairway in between. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Well, bring the hammer, why don't you? Setting up an eagle opportunity. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Just dominated this hole, and it ends up with an eagle. Frank, just some great golf here today. Well, that's a round to remember. Not all
This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Well, this golf course goes back a long ways to 1878, in fact. We're at Royal Troon Golf Club in Scotland. Rich Thurner alongside Frank Novolo. And Frank, uh, where are some of the scoring opportunities out here? Well, normally when the, uh, the Open Championships played, the breeze comes out of the uh, sort of northwest, which means those first few holes are played down breeze and the closing stretch is played into the breeze. So really, you sort of make your hay on the way out and then you hang on for dear life on the way in. Um, that doesn't really change because you have some rather short par fours to start. Frank, you've played the Open Championship twice here at Royal True. What's that feeling like when you step to the first tee? Well, Lynx golf is so much different to what we play in America. Uh, the bounce, the roll, that have to be judged. And you get a relatively soft start here at Royal Troon. 370 yards doesn't seem like much, but it gives you a, an initial taste of bounce and avoiding the pot bunkers. There's always advantage of hitting it further than most, Rich, and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. That the full treatment. Get up. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. Had every chance of going in. Not a gimme, but well within his range. So in the early going, already minus three. Frank, looking at the third, what are the sort of key decisions that you have to make? There's two bunkers down the left. They're not really the issue. They're the burn. That's about 285 yards. This is not a hole, really. You just take the driver out and swing away. Uh, just something that stays up short of that. It's just going to leave you a short iron in.
And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. And getting ready for the putt. Just has the feel to that. Here's the first part five on the golf course. It's the fourth hole, Frank. How good of a scoring opportunity is this? Certainly one of the best opportunities on the front side. Uh, there's three bunkers, but really the one that you focus on is the one on the right. If you can carry that, that's certainly the one to take on because that ball will kick a lot further down the fairway. Sometimes you do that with just a, a mid iron. Oh, beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. A great way to start a hole nicely placed in the fairway. Second shot. Good look at the green. Good looking shot right here. That was a big, bold strike. And now a chance for a big, bold move. Cut for Eagle coming up. Frank, how rare would this be if this putt drops? Well, this is, this is uh, I'd like to say once in a lifetime, but on the odd occasion we do see back-to-back -back Eagles, but it certainly is something to watch. On to the fifth hole now, Frank, and this is really where the old course starts to test the golfers. It's just over 200 yards. Are you happy with a par three here? You are. This is one of the toughest shots, certainly on the outward nine. Now, there's four bunkers of this par three. You don't really worry about the one that's short left, but the one just on the front right of the green is the biggest concern. You've either got to go around it or carry it. Oh, nice strike, Rich. Not quite directly in line with the flag. Just drifting a bit to the right, but he'll settle. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. What a putt. Just missed, Frank. That's cruel. <laughs> Did the job right there. All right, Frank, how about the sixth hole? Long par five. Yeah, three bunkers off the tee. Avoid those. Uh, but if you hit a good one, certainly reachable. 